All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Come We're here on. with another part of this Red Dead Redemption walkthrough. Undead Nightmare walkthrough, I guess I should clarify. A mythical creature. No, is this the, uh... Yes, this is war. I think this is war. I must be out uh, you have to mind. break them. Relax now. Oh my, I, this is not what I meant to do. I wasn't going to actually uh, try to find the horse. But this is a lucky occasion right here. Deranged creature. Damn weird animal. That's it. I think this is war. No, that wouldn't be right. Well, creature of the night. Dude, you're not getting me off. I have a 100% record in this. I must be drinking. This is pure magic. Dude, you're not Come getting on, rid of baby. me. Calm down. I, get myself I do this, this all night. Which one is this? I don't. I think this is war, but I thought. Oh, I yes, I got war. Go. Sick. Okay, these guys have unlimited stamina. I completely forgot to. <laughs> I said all of last part. I was gonna start this part with uh, hunting pestilence. I completely forgot to do that. I was so invested in the story after Seth's uh, encounter there that I completely forgot. And we just stumbled across one, which is fantastic. I was gonna say, we're just a little bit off from uh, Seth's shack. We're gonna actually start with McFarlane's ranch. I wanna see if uh, Bonnie and her family's still alive. And then we'll head on to, because it takes us right through her ranch, head on to the Armadillo graveyard and then Armadillo. I think it's, tech yeah, Coots Chapel, sorry. Dude, actually, I love the map details where there's undead horses and undead creatures walking around. That's a cool feature. But we're going to start with McFarland's Ranch. But we just locked upon a horse. Literal war from the four horses. And he can set enemies on fire. Now, like I was saying... Wait, so if I just run into zombies, it'll set them on fire, right? Yeah, okay, press X when yeah. near a hitching post to save your horse. You can only save one horse. That's what I thought. But if you get one of the objectives, um, then you can actually summon all four of the four horses. Let's, let's test this out. Are you a zombie? Oh, we, okay, that's sick. That is a sick feature. I'm getting distracted. I forgot what I was going to say. I set the... I can even set the freaking wolves on fire? Dude, I freaking love this game right now. Dude, we're just gonna run through with our horse. Survivor's over here. Whoa! Don't you think I'd rather be laying feet? Okay, there's some people over here. Dude, freaking this horse is fast. I know they're extremely fast and they have unlimited stamina, but this is honestly on another level. Set everybody on fire. Break away a little bit. Give us some space. So this is also a survivor mission here. Once we clear out the place. But I won't worry about that for the time being. Let's go back to our pistol. I got thrown off my horse. This is not good. I just... I ruined that. The 
Let's get back on the horse as quick as we freaking can. War, you better get back. If I lose this freaking horse... <laughs> I'm gonna lose my crap if I lose this horse. I'm gonna get somebody killed here. I don't wanna get thrown off again. Let's hitch this freaking horse. Uh, I think there's a hitching post right in front of the shop here. No, it's at my house. Let's do this one. We are saving this freaking horse. We're going to loot everybody. We're not going to do the survivor mission yet. I think it's going to be a, a Bonnie McFarlane one. But I, I'm not too worried about it right now. I want to carry on with the campaign first. Maybe I'll come back to it later. Everything's still <laughs> still on fire. I don't think I helped. I think I set some stuff on fire myself. We're not going to comment on that one. This is in the house. Right there. Okay. All the ammo I can get. Please. Do. Repeater, I'll take it. There's one in the big house. I'm not gonna worry about that one. More people to loot, preferably. At least one. I guess this will come in useful. This is another survivor. Another uh, settlement that's safe. Okay, let's call the horse and we'll head to the next graveyard. What is the name of this survivor one? It is... Paternal Pride. I assume it's gonna be something to do with the McFarlands, obviously. Dude, war looks so freaking sick. Come on. That is so awesome. Thank the Lord. Easy. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Killed you. That's what he would have done. Killed you. It had to be done. Oh, dang it. I did it again. Don't kill myself, please. I really need to make a save. Thank you all very much. Maybe before I leave McFarland's, I'll make a save, because it's getting nighttime anyways. Come on. Please don't spit on me. Tomahawk? I forget these. I need to use these. I got fire bottle, tomahawk. I don't really need the fire bottles because uh, I have a horse that sets everything on fire, but it is useful. Thank you. Come on, war, dude. It's oh, I love this so far. 
This is honestly almost better than the campaign. So we're still heading to the next graveyard. Uh, Coots Chapel, sorry. That's the next graveyard. I can probably run through it again. I love the unlimited stamina. That is so freaking good. Come on. <laughs> I love that you can even set uh, coyotes and wolves on fire. It's just a good feature. Whoever thought of that? That not... Oh, what is the freaking poison fog in the distance? What the heck was that? Was that war that made that sound? The horse? It sounded disturbing. Yeah. That looks like a... No, it's just fog. I guess it's grass through the fog that looks like poison over there. Let's go! Are these undead cows or something? Yeah, these, these horses are way faster. Put the gun away. So Coots Chapel's next, and then we'll clear out Armadillo. And we got two more chapels to clear out after that, and then Nigel West Dickens. I think we can get all of that done in this part. Uh, I'll try my best to at least. Come on. I can just go off-road. What am I doing? I'm not going to worry about every, every settlement. So Come on. if I don't get everything, eh, not the end of the world. So we're gonna park the uh, horse right next to it because as soon as hey. as soon as we burn the coffin, I'm hopping back on this horse. We're just gonna set everybody on fire. <laughs> Makes it pretty easy. The, does the rain put him out? I never even questioned that. I think the rain might actually put him out. Man, Horsey doesn't put him out. I, I can tell that for sure, though. Yep. Horsey, I'm going to have to get off you. are you? Is that a big... I can't tell what's a big guy because they all make the same large groaning sound that I hate. Let's just go after the coffins. Got one more coffin over here. That's a lot of zombies. Dude, run out of the graveyard first. Who the heck is this? Alma Horlick. That is creepy. We're just gonna give her, like, as many shots as it takes. Who else wants up? Alive. Okay, let's loot everybody. 
There's one graveyard cleared. Cemetery. Coots Chapel cleansed. Nice. So we got the Blackwater graveyard and Coots Chapel done. Now we got a lot of ammo to loot here, so... You can't be serious. Like you have ammo. I'm not leaving until I loot them all, because this game is be game mode is tough on ammo. This guy here. Shotgun, nice. Who else? Guy out here. Any gifts I need from everything. I need everything I can. I need to start using some tomahawks, I guess. be a big waste on ammo this game mode so armadillo is next i believe now where's war there he is come on oh, dude, you can't tell me this does not look awesome yeah whoever freaking came up with the idea to add the four horses of the apocalypse i take on the four horsemen of the apocalypse war famine pestilence and uh death whoever thought of this was a freaking genius and deserves a very large pay raise. I hope he did at least. Cause dear God, they did a good Go. job. Good heavens, fuck. So there's a freaking crawler there. I don't know what the heck that was, but let's go. We'll just perform run-throughs of this over and over. My lord, this place has a lot of zombies. This is insane. Armadillo's garbage. No wonder I didn't choose to live here. I'm having a very good time in this. Dude, I, <laughs> I love how you kind of perform jumps off the big fat ones. This is so good. Oh. Not even the fire. Sometimes just the damage of a horse full, full running at him just does it. Oh, this is so good. 
I love this so much. Okay, we're gonna hitch this horse. Let's go. And we're gonna loot this freaking town. Oh my god. I love whoever made this game. Rockstar San Diego, I think, or something like that. They did a freaking good job. We're gonna get all the ammo we can. This is the best way to save ammo. Just use the freaking horses. I think they all have special abilities besides being Thank God. fast and whatnot, but war is just the best. He sets them on fire. It's so freaking good. Oh, it's upstairs. Ammo's upstairs. Oh, somebody's dying down there. Take everything. That'll do. Revolver ammo, nice. I'm just gonna <laughs> jump off the roof. I must dissect one of those thingies later. Revolver ammo. Repeater. I'll take it all. The gunshot. Is this the gunshot? We're not going to head to the sheriff station because that, that might trigger the uh, stranger mission. Which one is this one? Dinner for two. Okay, I forgot that one. There's an upstairs. This is a bank. How do you get upstairs? I'm not going to worry about it. Let's actually uh, head to the next chapel here, which is all the way over Oddfellow's Rest. Come on, war buddy. Dude, it, it's such a good add-on to save ammo. So dinner for two is the people screaming, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I don't go towards the screaming. I don't know about you guys. I sure don't. Oh, I just shot the guy. Dang it. Oh, my lord. I hit I hit the thing twice, so I shot him. He's going to reanimate. Oh, maybe not. I think I already got him. Alright, let's head to the next chapel. <sighs> Wasted some ammo there. Come on. I love I don't have to worry about stamina. I can just mash A anymore <laughs> now. So, uh, honestly, even if, uh, if even, even if I discover another horse, I'm probably not even going to try yeah. to get him. Because war is awesome. I don't know if they're... <laughs> that's a very bad, like, if you, if you cut that out of context. That's very bad to say out loud. But the horse, war yeah. horse, is awesome uh, for setting people on fire. I don't know what the other's abilities are. So I don't know if they're better or not. But for now, I don't think they could be better. So we have quite a bit of ammo for everything now. So we might just keep with the cattleman. Stick it out and just do Deadeye. I think I missed. There you are. in his head. Peter Turner. Oh, betrothed to Miss Horlick. That's a good feature there. I'm gonna need... Uh,
Yeah, that was close. Not my day. That's all you got, woman. That was very close. I don't like those uh, crawler guys. They're my least favorite. More than happy to rob you as well. This is revolting. Let's go back to my revolver. I'm actually making a profit on ammo at this point. Which is good. We're finally at that stage. We're not losing money. One more coffin. And one more guy to loot. You. So that was a good... I, I noticed that on the gravestone. Uh, he was betrothed to Miss Horlick. The person we killed in the last graveyard. So I don't know if they're all like tied in. Like the... The skull icon on the kind of main bosses. Oddfellow's Rest. We've got Blackwater Graveyard, Coots Chapel, and Oddfellow's Rest cleansed. Three of the four discovered so far. Where are you at, War? He looks, even in distance, that looks, uh, looks like the freaking Ghost Rider's horse. You know the, it's not all of them are a motorcycle. I know some of them, uh, Come on. like there's a Knight Ghost Rider. Uh, a cowboy ghost rider. So I think they they ride steeds like this. And the, the freaking ghost rider horses are awesome. I don't really want to go through Ridgeward. We, we might as well clear it out. We're helping every settlement on the path. Like I didn't do these because they're out of the way. Or whatever this one is. Twin rocks. Uh, we might as well do Ridgewood. I still got time. We're making we're making ammo out of this, so we can we can spare the time. At least those chests are worth worthwhile in every settlement. Whole world gone crazy. Come on, come on. Oh, oh. oh my lord! Okay. You gotta bump them to set them on fire, so. Did you say God is on my side? Okay, the horse is kind of glitch. It's, it's very fast, but it's also kind of glitchy because it's so fast. Yeah, okay, it does that a lot. I hope heaven's better the second time around. There we go. Okay. Oh, we got a spring. Oh, so we get amp. Wait, we get guns for uh, clearing out each settlement. Because so, now we got a uh, Springfield rifle. I'm not going to use it because I don't think it's as good, but it's still kind of worth it. I'm, I am going to loot everybody and grab every chest over Man, here. Yep, in here. I thought so. It is kind of worth it then. Maybe I'll do some do. between parts of uh, clearing out the settlements. But for now, 
I think they kind of, they could be attacked again or overrun again, which kind of makes it like, do I want to do this over and over and over? I kind of want to focus on the main story. Uh, right now, part of the story is to clear out the graveyards from Seth. So we're going to, I don't think we're going to do any more settlements for the time being. I think this is the last one for a little bit. So we got one more, uh, one more graveyard to clear as part of a three chain that we uh, got right after talking to Seth and Moses, not Monty. And we'll talk to Nigel West Dickens. I don't know how much help he's going to be because he doesn't make any medicine, but we'll see. It's the two people people were naming as the, the conspirators behind this. Let's go. So we'll see. Yep, new towns. Fast. Oh, I love just being able to mash, <laughs> mash the button. Don't have to worry about stamina anymore. This is a very good find at just the right yeah. time too. Where is this graveyard? Oh, it's right here. Okay. This is a little bit of a smaller graveyard. miss at certain points, it kind of actually accelerates them being upright. Oh god, no, I don't like that. Your mom will not teach you it's rude to eat a fellow's head. Oh god, I'm gonna die here. Oh, I'm so dead. What the freak spitter nonsense is this? I'm liking this. Jimmy Saints. I can't read the rest of that. Thank God for this shotgun. Dude, those are tough. Oh, this is, this dude's a freaking That dude's freaking that dude that bum rushed me like a freaking charger man. I did not like that one. I did very much did not like that. We got one more coffin over here. We can loot. Big guy that bum rushed me. We're still making a profit, but I'm not liking these different type of zombies. So I'm really not. They're getting creepier and creepier. I 
don't think this one tied into the uh, Horlick family. The dude's name was different. Tumbleweed Graveyard. Four graveyards cleared. What do we got left? Return to Seth at Old Bacchus Place. As so we can... Okay. So he wants us to return to him all the way up there. Or we could do the next... Undead Nightmare mission. Honestly, I might return to Seth. We have plenty of time. It shouldn't take too long to return back down here. Um, I'd prefer if we could set up a campsite, but I don't think we can do that anymore. It would be in kits, but it doesn't look like we can. We're getting a lot of ammo for everything, so that's good. Yeah, it's going to be long trips on the horse at this point, I think. Where is War at? He was pretty far away then. I can hear the footsteps. There he is. Yeah, we're gonna go return to Seth first. I know it might be out of order, out of order here, and kind of, kind of weird to do it in this way. But it shouldn't take too long with how quick we are and not having to stop at the settlements. We should make it back fairly quick. Not worrying about stamina. Just mash A the whole freaking time. Come on. I know eventually we're going to have to head back down to Mexico because the uh, Undead Hunter outfit does talk about the El Presidio where we were at in the campaign where we uh, took down... What did we take down there? Javier Escuela, yeah. I think. So, I know we're going to head back there at some point. See, we can just ride right through this place. I want to see uh, what other undead animals. Can it be everyone? Like, can there be an undead grizzly up in uh, West Elizabeth? Because that'd be a very not good feature. I'm not doing that. <laughs> if that's the case. I'll tell you right now, I'm not hunting any undead grizzly bears. If they're harder to kill than regular, I'm not. I'm not fucking with them. Excuse my language, but it's not happening. I think those are undead coyotes. from over that way but I can't tell where so we're just gonna skip it let's go come on what do we got here this is a freaking horde Help him out. Nice. We might head to Fort Mercer to hunker down. I wasn't just gonna ride by and let him eat you alive. What are you doing? Oh, we got ammo for that. Nice. I'll take it. We can do those. I'm not gonna do the stranger mission, but random encounters. I'm not. I'm not afraid of doing those. So let's ride right through Armadillo. Hopefully, we don't get too close and trigger this. I'm gonna avoid that. There we go. gonna do a wager of like who could kill more i'm not messing with that i think he was trying to do something else uh in terms of a, a wager who could kill more he did say a friendly wager so 
Let's just kill him and move on. I'm already afraid of freaking undead cougars. Come on. So, what other big predator? It's really just bears. We don't get attacked by... Oh my, I didn't think about that. Undead birds. Do we get attacked by birds? It does look like we might. That is... Oh, that's just an undead horse. Okay. It's not pestilence. Even if we run into pestilence, I'm not I'm not even worrying about them. Setting you on fire. I'm already feeling bad for hunting down wild animals uh, in terms of the Sasquatch. <laughs> in the last part. That was a huge mistake. Oh, it's so freaking good to be able to mash down A. I don't know why. Yeah, you do, those are definitely undead coyotes. They're, they're too skinny to be regular. Not gonna do paternal pride either. Help! Please, somebody. What's she giving me? Give me ammo. Ooh, I did. Okay, that was a profit. See, being nice even in undead nightmares worth it. get 16 or 8 or whatever ammo from the ones I've done so far. That's worth it. Especially if I can just set them on fire with my noble steed war here. I love how fast he is can't get over it they just did a good job the vibe is just good it's scary but like also very adventurous at the moment it's like i don't want to be near these zombies so they did a good job making them scary Let's go. those freaking runners especially i hate those things the ones that crawl on all fours like it's freaking deadpool and wolverine over here i'm just waiting for seth to be dead no way seth is just Seth the goat, honestly. Well, Seth, sorry to interrupt your party. Hey, John, come join us. We're having a jig. <laughs> John, have you met Mary Lou? What about Francie? <laughs> I did as you asked and cleared out the rest of the graveyards. Doesn't seem to have done much good. Good? 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 Is dead good? Are you good? <laughs> Stop with your nonsense, you annoying fool. What's going on? The world's turning, John Marston, and the moon with it. Woohoo! <sighs> Day follows night, and hate follows love. Oh. Okay. You asked for it, Seth. You either stop dancing and start talking, or prepare to join Moses and the rest of these freaks. Are you constipated, John? You look very angry. You get constipated when you're angry. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> I'm warning you, Seth. Oh, I'm warning you, Seth. I'm warning you. Don't play with the undead, Seth. Don't chase treasure. Don't waste your time searching for treasure and discover only a glass eye. <laughs> glass eye. Well, warn all you want, cowboy! Well, that's a load off my mind. Why didn't I think about that before? Because we weren't dancing. Hey, John. Well, how are you? Would you like a drink? We got blood mucus surprise. Come on! Seth! What is going on? Aztecs. Or, or Incas. Or, or it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's all the same. Once every 200 years, 
This land is doomed. <laughs> That's why we love it. Mexico. Mexico, John. <laughs> ah, Mary Lou, may I have the honor? Oh. You're a sick man. So it looks like we just got the Nigel West Dickens mission left. This is how you do. Once again, it's not even. Yeah, it won't even let you shoot him. That's such a. Let's go. That makes me mad, honestly. <laughs> Why won't it let me shoot him? So we're gonna head down here. Filth and other entertainment. That's new. Uh. There's more settlements in this area than I thought, because I've never been to any of these. <laughs> any of these settlements. So, let's head back down here to uh, Undead Nightmare, what should be Nigel West Dickens. We have time to do his mission in this part. Oh, took the wrong turn. Good thing you can just go across land, because unlimited stamina. Parker, over here. I, need I think it's too late, my guy. Hey, you're Just you're done, dude. I'm sorry for you, but you're done. Nigel West Dickens. Seth is <laughs> Seth is so weird, but at the same time, Seth is the goat. That's an undead boar. Where were all these boars at when I was trying to do the freaking sharpshooter master hunter mission where I needed to skin five boars? None of them were freaking spawning down here anyways when I was doing it then. But now, Undead Nightmare, they want to all spawn. Just to show off their undead forms. It's BS, man. Come on. I love being able to do that. I'm not talking at the moment. I'm trying to focus on the trail here. Oh, there's another... Best way to go about it. Oh, we're definitely gonna have a mission in Fort Mercer then. Now that I think about it, where is Nigel? Is in Fort Mercer, isn't he? Oh, that makes way more sense. I I, I forgot where Fort Mercer was. But yeah, that makes way more sense. Everybody's heading there, and now we can uh, meet up with Nigel there. Are they gonna be kicking him out or something? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. It is a pretty long trip across this map. It doesn't look that... Yeah. It's kind of weird when they make the map sizes like this. Full, uh, Fully zoomed out, it just doesn't look big. But when you have to manage stamina running across the whole freaking map, it's, it's surprisingly large. Um, honestly, yeah. since we don't have... I don't think we're going to have time to do a full mission for Nigel S. Dickens. We might stop here in Armadillo and do the dinner for two. I know I said I wasn't gonna, but it's kind of too late. I, I want to stop at the around the hour mark on each part, so I don't want to. Uh... Let's go. Eh, never mind. You know what? I think we're just gonna bypass it. Well, if this part drags in past an hour, I'll do it. Might as well. Nigel is a freaking entertaining character. Yeah. Being really indecisive about what I, what I want to do, but well, 
It'd be a lot of fun to see Fort Mercer with the zombies going on. And uh, how many... Whatever. I feel like Nigel's going to end up getting kicked out. That's just a fact. The dude's crazy in uh, a funny way compared to Seth. Seth is just crazy, crazy. He's still the GOAT, but he's just crazy, crazy. And uh, I want to see what happens here at the fort. need to look up how rare it was for me to stumble across uh, war this quickly. Like, how rare are they to spawn in? Because I feel like I got very freaking lucky. Come on, come on. Oh, there are a lot of you here. There's a big enough zombie that can knock you off the horse because that'd be like nightmare fuel for me because war is at this point my safe haven i think we're getting wild animals jumping in too literally just for killing zombies let's take a look at that right now journal challenges undead hunter oh it gives you ammo for these okay four horses that's just getting all the four horses i'm not even gonna worry about that uh i can do that Okay, let's actually move on. I got some fun killing these guys and killing zombies. Check out Fort Mercer. Hey, somebody's out there. He ain't one of them. Open the gate. Howdy, mister. Be okay. Step right up! Step right up! Don't be shy now. Don't be shy. Nature confounds us, but science saves us. That's the truth, sir. That's the truth. West Dickens patented tonic. The only 100% original, 200% guaranteed cure against the undead stalking this earth. It not only brings health and fitness to the sick and needy, it repels the undead and saves souls! Why, it's a natural miracle! And it's available now, here, at the low, low price of only 100 solid gold coins! That sounds expensive, but what price eternal damnation! <laughs> you, sir! You look healthy. Would you like to give it a try? Me, sir? Yes, sir. Would you care to demonstrate the undead defeating possibilities of this patented elixir? No, sir, I would not. What I would like is for you to stop peddling this nonsense right now. 100 gold coins? 
Well, what price would you pay for survival? You tell me, Mr. West Dickens. You tell me. Well, since you put it that way, um, why don't all you chaps all take one for free now? And uh, if you like it, when you like it, uh, you'll know where to find me. Uh, you won't find any undead around me. <laughs> take it, enjoy. <laughs> Thanks a lot, John. These people have lost their families. They've lost everything. Well, that's not my fault. I'm just trying to make an honest living here. No, you're not. Well, uh, okay. But can I help it if demand is high? High? I'm offering the people hope, John. That's a precious commodity. The tonic really works. <laughs> These poor, awful undead creatures can't stand it. <laughs> Come here. Take a look. Works like a charm. Uh, well, it wasn't quite what I expected. Stuff is like catnip to those bastards. Uh, well, I, I, I need more desert sage and uh, violet snowdrop, and then I know I can cure this foul plague. Okay. Back to doing your dirty work, am I? Now, don't be like that. Don't you remember the good times? Please? I'm an old man! In all right. Here. Take it. Maybe you can use it to attract some of them. <sighs> okay. I'll see what I can do. And thanks. I'm sure this will come in real handy in case I want to meet some new and interesting friends. <clears throat> mm. Interesting. Okay, build undead baits. Where's the main exit? Can I even go out the main exit? Okay, so the f okay doors are locked. You you can okay, you can climb down ladders from the outside to the outside. Where are said ladders? This is a new low. How do you get back in again? I don't see any of these ladders. Oh, there's one. Okay. We're just gonna drop down. Oh. Well, we're fine. You walk it off. So we got a uh, violet sage and what? Hold up, what do we have to do? Violet, Snowdrop, and Desert Sage. Sorry, that got him wrong. So we're gonna look around for any... As we explore here, we'll look around for any ingredients on the mini-map. Be something here. It's the only mission we have available, so I might cut back to it once we're done. I don't know. Depends how long it takes to get him. I hate these creatures, man. What 
least we killed some of them. So let's head... Oh, there's Whoa. something here. What is that? You little beauty. Oh, that's Red Sage. Okay, now I know what Red Sage looks like. It's not what we need, yeah. but... I saw something on the mini map. What was that? Come on, easy up now. That's one. Red Sage again. Where the heck do you find Red Sage? Is it somewhere on the map and I was missing it? Let's hop back on the horse and check one more time. No, it's not popping up anywhere, so... Hmm. Collect Violet Snowdrop for Wes Dickens and collect five Desert Sage. I don't know where to get either of these. We have survivalist maps. Hold up. Okay, I just I just looked up where uh, potentially these items are at. That's why I'm kind of quiet. So I know apparently Gap Tooth Ridge is kind of where uh, Desert Sage is at, and then uh, Violet Snowdrop is in the top part of Tall Trees here. So I, I guess we go to these locations and then use the survivalist maps. Let's let's take a look at that one more time. Uh, what does it say? Shows all nearby herbs on the map for 20 minutes. Let's go to the area where it should pop up at, which is Gap Tooth Ridge first. Be another long trip here, but we're gonna finish this out before I finish this part. So if it extends a little bit, I apologize. But we can do some herb collecting. I didn't know this is what we're going to be doing on our Undead Nightmare mission, but... It's not the worst thing in the world. At least it's not another cattle herding mission. <laughs> I really didn't like those cattle herding missions. <laughs> Probably my worst experience of the game so far. I'm trying not to get my own cattle that supposedly John paid for killed. Especially when he's reunited with his family. That one sucked. Going to Gap Tooth Ridge, we'll use one survivalist map, then tall trees. Let's go. Wait, actually, I wonder, does it actually tell you the name of what you want it is? Because if it does, that is very useful. Come on. Yeah. Gap Tooth Ridge, we're in this area. So let's go ahead and use our first survivalist map. It gives you 30 minutes of use, 20 minutes of use. So does it tell you what it is? It just says plants. We'll check it out though. We have 20 minutes of use. Whoa there. This looks like Nope, one. this is not the right thing. Get a little further up, up into Gap Tooth Ridge. Blow it up now. What is this one? Hey. This looks like. This definitely looks like Violet Sage. Desert Sage, that. sorry. I'm getting it confused. It's Violet Snowdrop and Desert Sage. 
So I know what it looks like now. That is it right there. Might as well. Three more. Go. I still got more use. Why is it not? Let's go. Easy. That is violet. Yep. That's what I've been after. Two more. Yeah. Hope I see two this way. Hopefully they're both. Slow down. Whoa. No, that's wild fur view. That is violet sage. Desert Sage right here. The other one is Furview, though, That's I think. What I, wanted. I see the white flowers on the left side, so let me check that. I will make sure. Yep, that's that's the Furview stuff. Come on. One more. Come on, give me one more. What's this? Please be Desert... Er, yeah, Desert Sage. That is it. There we go. Now we just gotta make our way over to tall trees. There we go. That's one. Which is where? Violet Snowdrop is that? That's a weird sound. Okay. I think we just need to make our way up there. I wish there was a carriage in this game. That's a big drop. Okay, we can't go that way. Whoa! Wait, what? That works, okay. Slow up. It's a long trip over here. At least we have unlimited stamina again. <laughs> what the heck was that? Are you alright, sir? I just saved your life. I'm not even gonna get a thank you out of this. Come on. This is gonna be a little bit of longer part than normal, but like I said, it's gonna extend a little bit into a little bit past an hour, but we'll get this mission done at least. Yeah. So all we have left is Violet Snowdrop. I think this is the only way I was going to get this done because <laughs> actually it doesn't make sense if it's it's called Snowdrop. It, it, the only snowy area I know is the northern side of Tall Trees above uh, Manzanita Post. That's the only one I know that's snowy. So that makes a lot more sense now I think about it. Come on. But that was the only way I was going to figure this out. Um, if I if I googled it myself. Now that we have a lot of settlements cleared, I shouldn't get too much distraction. Um, I think I, there's not that many missions in Undead Nightmare, to be to be honest. There's just not that many. Um, so I think we're almost halfway through the actual story of Undead Nightmare. So from now on, I should, since we got a lot of settlements cleared, Let's and I'm go. probably not going to bother with the rest of them, um, I shouldn't have to worry about... I shouldn't have to worry about... Um, getting distracted with settlements too much and I can just focus on focus on the missions for the next uh, however many Come it on. is I think I think we're halfway through and I think we've done four so eight or nine maybe ten I'm not the exact number eludes me at the moment but we'll see so if we're halfway through or a little less uh, I think we can get them done in two more parts of yeah. this game very excited actually because uh 
I pre-ordered the next game. The next game I'm going to play on this channel for a, a full series playthrough. Obviously, I, I do two videos a day. Um, like my Call of Duty playthroughs. I, I count those as separate. It's my second video of the day. Um, I, I enjoy getting those out. I've had a lot of fun playing through the Call of Duty series. But I also do one big playthrough at a time. So right now it's been Red Dead and Undead Nightmare for Red Dead Redemption. Um, the next thing we have available is... Indiana Jones, I believe it's called The Goat and the Golden Circle? I might be wrong about that. I'm really bad with names. I don't know if you noticed this, <laughs> if any of you guys follow my channel at this point. Um, I'm not good with remembering names. I'm just very bad at it. So don't, don't blame me too much. Don't hold it against me too much. But I believe that's what it's called. Uh, that game comes out on Sunday, the 8th, but I pre-ordered it, so I should be able to play it, um, what would that be, Thursday the 6th, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, the dates. So, I think we, I think this part should be out before I film it. I am filming in advance, because I will have limited time to work this whole week or film this whole week so the day this should be out is sh this video should be out on wednesday the day before i am able to play indiana jones so i'm very excited about some other playthroughs there's been a lot of good games that come out this year um i'm obviously going back and revisiting an older game in this case but it's still been a fun time i hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as i have we still have the survivalist map is still active, so hope it might last into tall trees, and I won't have to use another one. We'll see. This has been a longer trip than I, f I remember. <laughs> I remember it being. This has been like a eight-minute trip. Dixon Crossing. Yeah. I was going to say a Daryl Dixon joke, but I couldn't think of one on the, at the moment. Come on. See another mythical creature. Which one's it going to be? I see you right there. I think you're Pestilence. But do I want you, though? I kind of like war. I, I, once again, that's a bad cut out of, out of context clip. You know what? We're going to go for it. I must be out of my mind. We're going to break this horse. It's part of the Undead Nightmares, uh, the Four Horses of the Apocalypse Challenge, so I might as well catch them all. This is pure mess. I don't know if he has another good ability, but if it has something good, if not, I'll just get back on war. This is Pestilence, I believe. Famine is down in the Mexican area. If he has a good ability, I'll keep him. But war is just the best looking horse. Nature sure is messed up. So what is your ability? Yeah, see, four horses of the apocalypse rank two. And what is Pestilence's ability? You've broken a horse of the apocalypse, Pestilence. I knew it was him. Hennigan Stead and New Elizabeth is this horse. So what do we have? Pestilence is almost impossible to kill. Is that it? What does he do? Because war sets people on fire, and that's hard to pass up. Dude, I, I like you, but... I'm sticking with war. I'll, I'll catch them all. It's going to turn into a Pokemon game, but... I'm sticking with war. At least I broke the horse. Maybe we'll try to get all of them. Because I know we're going to head down to Mexico at some point. We, it, it would just make no sense to not go to Mexico. With it available as an area, so... If we can do all of them and get all of the undead horses... It, it is worth it, in my opinion. Just to get the challenge done. Because all we have left is famine and death. 
death I don't think pops up until you capture all of the end of uh, all of the rest of them. So now, any of the snowy area. Whoa there. This should be violet snowdrop, right? Hummingbird sage, nope. Let's go. I think that's the same thing, hummingbird, sage. Yep. So we need violet snowdrop. Yeah. What the heck was that? I don't like whatever that was. try to risk killing him. There we go. It's gotta actually shoot him there, guys. Give me some ammo. Best of luck to you. I think that's Try also Hummingbird safe. Sage. Dang it. Ammo out of that at least. Come on, come on. Are they all Hummingbird? What does Violet Snowdrop even look like? Whoa, whoa. Might as well. That's what it looks like. Okay. Yeah. Now I know what it looks like. We're just going to travel around the area and if I see it Whoa. I think that's it right there that's what I wanted there we go there's two what's this one that's three two more come here horsey From what I remember, there's also some, like, uh, other mystical creature. I think it's, like, a unicorn in this game as well. We're definitely going to have to investigate that. I'll do some research in between parts trying to figure that out. That is also Violet Snowdrop. There we go. Perfect. So I think we only need one more. We can head back down to Fort Mercer. Come on! Are they shooting again? Oh my lord, is it again? Take the ammo over and over and over again, but Thanks. We might head to Fort Mercer to hunker down. Travel safely. And stay away from anyone groaning. Nice, more ammo. And that's the last violet snowdrop. So we're already at the hour twenty mark. But we're gonna finish this with uh Nigel West Dickens. He is way down there. It's going to take a while. <laughs> Long trip again. Yeah! Did I set the map marker? Why is it not showing up? Wait, hold up. There's more Sasquatch. Oh my lord. I killed that dude for no reason in the last part. 
Let's He's go. not the... That dude wasn't the last of his kind. Dude, are they shooting again? You're crazy. He's good. He doesn't need to be alive. Okay, so that Sasquatch, that means our last mission is invalid from uh, the <sighs> conservation movement. I forgot the name of it. I really did. But that means that dude I killed at the very end was not the last of his kind. Cause that's oh, what I, yeah. I put him down for because I assumed he was the last of his Go. kind when he said that. But now I feel even worse. I killed the last dude for no reason. <laughs> Oh, I'm a horrible person in this playthrough now. Oh, cougars. Come on. Come on. So I'm probably going to mute myself for the rest of this drive. Uh, enjoy a nice, peaceful... I have nothing else to speak of at this point. I want to finish this part. But uh, enjoy a nice, relaxing trip down to uh, just above Fort Mercer. See you in a minute.
All right, we're getting close to uh, yeah. Nigel West Dickens again, so let's unmute myself. God, there's so many zombies in this area, man. I want to fight them all, but it's such a time waste. And wolves, of course. They did a really good job in the ambience in this game. I've just been enjoying the ride over here. <laughs> and the very dark, unsettling vibe is... They did a good job. They just did a good job. It's on par with the campaign of just, like, setting a tone. Come on. And sticking to it so far. Here he is. Why are you up here by your... S oh. Is he dead? That thing is still not dead. Well, that's a bruiser thing. <laughs> Another satisfied customer, Mr. West Dickens. Oh, hello, John. Yeah, poor fellow can't get enough. As I see. Get rid of him, would you? Why? Well, because we're old friends. No. Uh, because uh, we'll team up and fight the forces of darkness together? No. Uh, because I've got something you want. Uh, trust me, you cynical bastard. <laughs> Oh. oh, thank you, dear boy. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, well. Oh, did you get the stuff? Of course. Oh, excellent. Oh, wait just a minute. <laughs> ah, here you go. Now these should help. If I've got my mathematics correct, they'll blow the buggers apart. <laughs> and if you've got your sums wrong? Oh, ye of little faith. Now listen, John. You're going to need some more serious weaponry. I've got a plan. <laughs> but you need to pick up some old parts at Riley's charge. Another shopping trip. Yeah, well, excuse me if my efforts at salvation are interrupting your busy social calendar, John. I'm only trying to help because... Because we're, we're old friends. I know. <laughs> you better not be wasting my time. Uh, me? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Perish the thought. <laughs> <laughs> So we're not done yet. Still got one more part of this mission. This is really crazy. We gotta head over to Riley or oh, sorry, Riley's charge? Yep. Find the old parts at Riley's charge and return them to West Dickens. Okay, phosphorus coating is a treatment that modifies all ammo to set undead ablaze with a blue fire. Okay. I mean, I'm not worried about that. Where's Riley's charge at, though? Oh, it's right here. A cure for most of what ails you. Come on. Okay, we gotta... I get some weapon parts? Out of this place. So I... I'm... I'm just gonna hopefully assume, hopefully this is correct, I'm gonna assume we get a weapon out of this. I really hope we do, because I'll be majorly disappointed if we, if we don't get a weapon out of this. We gotta pick up weapon parts. So, how many weapon parts is this, though? Come on, come on. I don't think he really said how many parts. It's probably gonna be slam-packed full of undead, though. That's pretty obvious. And he jumped over a bush. Come on. I can just go off road here. Oh, just go over the ledge. Come on now. You're literally supposed to be like extremely tough to kill. You're not pestilence level toughness, but you're still very tough to Come kill. On. Why can't you just take a small drop? Don't complain too much yeah. about that either. It's a freaking flaming horse. 
Riley's Charge. Is that where we uh, did the mine last time, or is this a different place? I can't remember for sure. Oh, this is a different place for sure. Whoa there. Search this. Is this it? Turn the parts to Nigel West Dickens. Oh, I thought this this is a completely different place in my head. Okay. Where is he at this time? He's at Benedict Point. Shouldn't be too quick. Okay, as soon as we finish this part, we're gonna call it for finish this mission for Nigel West Dickens. And whatever we get upgraded. We're gonna call it for this part. Hopefully this is the Let's end. Go. We're already over an hour and a half into this. I'm sorry for dragging it on this long, but I got so distracted with the settlement and stuff. I mean, the graveyards were part of the missions, but the settlements, I didn't need to do. <laughs> that was my own, my own wants. Come on, let's go. Mercer Station. This is another settlement. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with this. I think. Hey, it's gonna be another sick lady, isn't it? Uh, no. Yeah. I'm sorry, lady, yeah. but no. We're at an hour 30. I'm getting I'm tired for this part. I can't imagine what you guys... I know it's dragging on. But I know I talk a lot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is not the way I wanted this to go. Yeah. Where's Benedict Point at? I thought it was a little closer than this. Come on. Gap Tooth Ridge. Oh, this is this place. Okay. Yep, I remember this. Whoa, whoa. Nigel West Dickens, what you got? Oh my god, my horse freaked West out. Dickens. Uh, Nigel, where are you, old man? You better not have gotten killed. Under you. here! <laughs> Get out here. Are you alone? No. I brought the great mass hordes of the undead with me. Of course I'm alone. Well. It's not the undead I'm worried about, dear boy. I kind of like them. It's the normal people I can't stand. What's happened? No, don't be like that. I haven't done anything. Or stolen anything. Or even lied. That much. What then? A bunch of people just chased me out of town. They blame me for everything that's happened. I tell you, John Marston, I've been selling health tonics for years, from here to Timbuktu, and never once has there been a, a demonic bloodlust or the undead rising up. It's preposterous. Okay. No. They want to hang me. Me. An honest salesman. Can you believe that? Snake oil merchant who cried wolf. Well, yeah, something like that. Um, well, I'm headed south. I'm, I'm headed down to Mexico. I hear things are much better down there. Not to mention the, uh, the climate and the nice locals, but uh, also the merciful lack of cannibalistic morons with infectious eye diseases. <laughs> oh, did you uh, get the bits and bobs I requested? Sure. Ah, ha, ha. Excellent. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Ah, there. Ah, see. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Here you go. 
<laughs> I risked my life for this? A blunderbuss? Is this a joke? What is this, 1850? Oh, ye of such little faith. You've been hanging around cattle and killers too long. You've got the compassion of a mass murderer and the intellect of a cow patty. I'll stick your faith in this gun where the sun don't shine. This is the weapon of choice for demonic horde killers everywhere, from Romania to Edinburgh and all the other places the undead roam. You can put pretty much anything into it and blow a bunch of the buggers away in one go. Makes your rifle look like a pea shooter. You better not be lying to me. Would I lie to you, John? Uh, to others, I admit the occasional uh, <clears throat> sin of omission. But to you, never, dear boy. Now, I... Oh, 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 oh wait, wait, wait. Ooh, ooh, ah. yeah. Now, I am headed down to Mexico. Is there any chance that uh, I will see you there? We shall see. Well, if you're interested, I should be at Solomon's Folly in a few days, trying to figure out a way to get in. I hear the border is not as open as it used to be. <clears throat> Ta-ta! <laughs> All right. We're done with that mission, finally. So the blunderbuss, where is it at? Oh, it's in shotguns. Okay, so it's saying that uh, it might take a while for Wes Dickens to finally pop up, like he said in Solomon's Folly. It looks like we're heading towards Mexico, like I thought. So we might be doing some side missions in the meantime, just to wait for it to pop up. It doesn't look like you need to, but you probably could just wait. I think we're just going to go ahead and do it probably head over to armadillo i think we'll actually start the next part in armadillo um so we can go ahead and get a save done and uh yeah maybe we do plain view filth under their entertainment now i think i want to do the uh, the side missions up here so it would be paternal pride and dinner for two so i hope you guys enjoyed this part make sure to like subscribe leave any feedback down below i will see you guys next time take care